Hello, good morning. Thanks for joining me on business. The International Monetary Fund says it fully backs government's move to audit the previous administration's budget overruns. This follows the about 7 billion CD expenditure that was not captured under the automated platform for government's expenditure, that is the gift miss. Now, it is also not reported to the IMF during the, its review. Some experts are saying any country that is found to have deliberately misreported and misrepresented facts could be sanctioned by the fund. But country rep of the IMF, Dr. Natalia Kolodina, says she is not in a position to comment on this. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, what happens now is the government decided to have a, conduct a comprehensive audit of those unpaid claims. And I agree with you, it is very important to find out what's behind those claims, when they were actually originated, and what's the reason why they did not go through the PFM system, public financial management system, and as you mentioned, through GIFMIS, so through all the uh, processes that are already in place, why were they outside this system? And if something is outside this system, it's much more difficult to identify the issue. So I would say that we support the government's decision to have a comprehensive audit and identify um, and verify those unpaid claims, identify uh, the reasons why these unpaid claims, uh, well, uh, showed up at the beginning of 2017, and then decide on the measures which need to be taken to address those shortcomings. when you also say that you are surprised at some of these numbers, it means that one way or the other, whether it's an interest or whatever, somebody tried to conceal data from the fund. I wouldn't make this allegations That's because, allegations if okay, sure. let me just be very clear that I wouldn't use this allegations because our review was completed at end September. The test date was end December 2015 and we had data, preliminary data, and I emphasize it, it is, preliminary data as of end June. So I would say that we were working with information for the first six months and this were preliminary data. Number two is that the review was as of end December 2015. So basically the first half of 2016 was outside the review. And therefore I would refrain from allegations that anyone concealed the data. And that's an update for now. We'll bring you more business at midday. My name is Emmanuel Abwaiki Yasi. Good morning.